Let's first start with Taubman and okay. Simon, because you and I talked a good deal about it. Man, I spent a lot of time talking to the lawyers on both sides of this, hearing their arguments as to why, you know, listen, the Taubman side was thought to have and continue to have a very strong case. But the business had deteriorated a lot. People want to sort of draw a connection to Tiffany. Well, listen, these guys actually had pandemic carved out, but their business had deteriorated a lot more than Tiffany's. Perhaps they didn't have the negotiating leverage. Um, you did have a couple of other things that, that the, the um, Simon side really felt that they at least had some chance with the judge on. Not going to happen, of course. You got the deal. 43 from 5250. From 5250 to 43. Jim, uh, but basically the same deal terms. They could close it as soon as before the end of this year. It does need a new uh, shareholder uh, approval. Um, not unexpected in some ways, Jim, but David Simon did get a significant price reduction. Right. Though they're still taking on a lot of debt. Don't just look at the price overall. Remember, they're also taking on a lot of the debt here as well. That, oh, the debt that comes along with it, I should say. Right. Uh, look, this is a vaccine play. Federal Realty, which is the largest shopping, se shopping center chain, okay, up $5. They never cut their dividend because Don Wood fought and fought. And I think that people want to be back in these stocks uh, because happy days are here again or soon will be here again with the vaccine. So there is just, David, people are not looking at the mall right now. The thing about the mall in the future, what's interesting, of course, is that the mall of the future is going to be more vacant than the mall for now. And I don't know. I mean, I listened to an, uh, someone on Brian Sullivan's show today saying, listen, if you lived in Phoenix, you'd be going to the mall twice a week. It's just New York. You don't go to the mall all the time. And, you know, Carl, I don't know. I, I, maybe the mall is, has whole has appeal in some parts of the country. But the stores that are in there are doing quite poorly, with the exception of LB. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.